just me and Chris Cassidy and this giant elephant in the cockpit that nobody wanted to talk about. Uh, and it was a little awkward, but I was like, I'm not asking the question, I'm going to make him say it. Currently living here in Houston, I am a research pilot here at the Johnson Space Center. I serve as an instructor for the astronaut corps, so I've been here for about five years. And then we also fly several other airplanes where we conduct airborne science missions. When I was a kid, if someone said, what do you want to be when you grow up? I, my instant response was a pilot. I never would have said an astronaut because I wouldn't have even thought it was possible. If the question was phrased differently and said, would you want to be an astronaut? I said, absolutely. And then obviously as you get older, uh, other things become important to you, like being part of something that's bigger than yourself. And uh, you know, this human endeavor of exploration uh, is something that's really exciting to be a part of. And so to be able to uh, come down here and be a part of that and, uh, is, uh, is really exciting. Uh, I was already scheduled to fly with one of our other instructor pilots. It was supposed to be a practice check ride for him. And he looks at his phone and he says, oh, i got to take this call. Go ahead out to the airplane. I'll meet you out there. Uh, and so I walk out the door. I get out to the airplane. And uh, Chris Cassidy is already strapped into the back seat, the chief of the astronaut office. And uh, he says, hey, Ray's not going to make it. We're already filed. Hop in. Let's go. Uh, so I, I keep telling people it was me and Chris Cassidy and this giant elephant in the cockpit that nobody wanted to talk about. And it wasn't until after we landed and we got out of the airplane, uh, BK was there. Obviously, Chris was there with me. BK said, hey, I got a job offer for you. <laughs> and so uh, it was a pretty, pretty special to get it in person and to have it conducted in that manner. So it was, it was pretty neat. When I was two, I uh, loved airplanes, and so I just wanted to be a pilot, and so that kind of steered me down that, that path. Uh, when it came time to go to college, I said I need to pick a major that's going to hold my interest for four years, and, uh, and that was aerospace engineering because I loved airplanes. Once I got there, I found out that I really loved the engineering aspect of things, the design, the problem solving, all the stuff that goes along with it. I would tell myself to worry a little less about what other kids thought about you and just focus on your own priorities and then everything else will come, will fall out of that in terms of earning other people's respect and that kind of thing. And it helps you develop into who, who you are. Subscribe for more space. space. space.